Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is bleed off circuit. So first we will see the elements of hydraulic circuit in the symbolic form. So this is DA cylinder that is double acting cylinder. This is the solenoid operated 4x2 DC valve that is directional control valve. This is flow control valve which will be placed on the bypass line. So that is the main thing because the name bypass, the another name for bypass is bleed off. That's why the circuit is called as bleed off circuit. Okay. So now this is the pump. This is the pressure relief valve. And this is the filter which we will be putting in the return line. So now let us see the construction of bleed off circuit and the working of the same. Like meter in and meter out circuit, the flow control is not placed on the inlet or outlet line of the cylinder but instead it is placed at the outlet of the pump. Let us see how it is. So first let us start from the actuator side that is the DA cylinder that is double acting cylinder. So this is the double acting cylinder and this is the 4x2 DC valve that is 4 port and 2 position or 2 way directional control valve. So this is the pump okay. So which takes the liquid or the oil from the tank and delivers to the circuit. Now this is the flow control valve okay, which is placed on the bypass line. So the flow control is placed at the outlet of the pump so that the flow okay, of the liquid or the oil which is coming from the pump is diverted so that the speed of the piston or the cylinder is controlled because like meter in we have the flow control at the inlet here and meter out it is placed over here but in this case the flow control is placed at the bypass line that is the outlet of the pump. So the speed of the piston will be equal to the difference between the pump delivery flow and the flow being bypassed through the flow control valve. So let us see the remaining parts. So this is the pressure relief valve which is also placed at the outlet of the pump in case of over pressurization and the filter so that the liquid which is going to the tank is filtered before it reaches the tank. Then this is the oil tank. So as you can see the pump takes the liquid from the tank and because of this flow control valve the flow which is going to the cylinder is controlled okay and this is the bypass line and the another name for bypass is bleed off that's why this circuit is called bleed off circuit then the liquid or the oil which is going in the cylinder is already controlled so we can control the speed okay of the cylinder or the piston in the forward direction and the liquid which is at the rod end comes to the tank by passing through this filter okay and when the position is change of the solenoid operated 4x2 DC valve the liquid or the oil from the pump after it is controlled it goes to this side that is the rod end side okay as you can see the flow is controlled when the DC valve is in this position or this position. Always the flow of the liquid which is going okay, from here is controlled. 
okay so when the liquid goes in this direction means when it goes to the rod end also it is controlled so as you can see during the forward movement of the piston or during the retraction stroke or the backward position when it is going back also the speed is controlled the liquid when it comes from here and then it goes through here okay and then to the tank from the filter so that the liquid or the oil going to the tank is filtered so the speed is controlled in both the direction when the oil is coming from this direction or the oil is coming from this direction because the control of the flow is done at this particular place so the speed of the piston is difference between the pump delivery flow and the flow which is bypassed by this flow control valve and as we have spoken earlier that bypass is also called as bleed off that's why the circuit is called bleed off hope you like the video we will again meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye